Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Renee and for today's video, we are going to do this Nay in Pink eyeshadow look with a very glowy skin. So without any further ado, let's get on with the video. So I already prepped my face and did my brows off camera. Now it's time for the primer. And the primer that I'm using is the MARC Primer from Avon. I really love this primer so, 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 so much. It blurs out my skin. You could really totally tell looking from, you know, looking at my face right now that it really does blurs out the skin. And aside from that, it's also not that expensive and you would really get your money's worth out of this product. So for today's video, we are going to do our eyes first and now it's time to prep the eyelids and the base that I'll be using is the P. Louise base on the shade number 1. As you can see, this base is like very light, it's almost white because we are going to use a very pink shadow. So we need to have that very light base for that, to, for that color to really pop out and be as bright as ever. So I'm just blending this product into my eyelids using my fingers. Um, this way, I won't be wasting a lot of product because I believe if you're going to use brushes, it's going to soak up that product and, you know, tipid tipid in tayo my time, guys. So yeah, now I'm taking the James Charles eyeshadow palette and taking that bright pink eyeshadow and applying it on my lid area. This eyeshadow look that we're going to do today is very simple, yet it, it really needs a lot of blending. It requires you a lot of blending. So now I'm taking that um, baby pink shadow from that same James Charles palette that I used and then use that to diffuse the edges of that bright neon pink. So this is a lot of back and forths. Um, this really required you a lot of time and a lot of effort and patience to achieve this um, eye look but in the end of that blending it's going to be really really worth it. And since I kind of saw some patchiness I took that P. Louise base again and then pack that very bright pink shade into that base so that you know we would cover up that patch area and with that guys oh my god I love how it looks it, it, it kind of makes the eyes I mean the pink shadow even I popped out even more and I did my other eye area off camera and then now I'm just cleaning off the the fallouts <laughs> And now let's do the wing liner. I'll be using the H&M liquid liner. This is the only liquid eyeliner that they have in their line. I love this liquid eyeliner so freaking much. It tries pretty matte and it's very liquidy. And the wand, oh my god, the wand is super thin. You could really create very sharp lines with this um, liquid eyeliner. I love this so freaking much. So if you get the chance to, um, to grab it, please do. And I think this is like one of those products that wala pa ganike siya, like na known. Yeah, please to grab it. I think it's very amazing and I think you're going to enjoy this. And now let's proceed to the base. I'll be using the Anastasia Vivoli Hills Liquid Glow and then the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. I just love how this um, liquid highlighter looks underneath that. Um, foundation. I just love how it, how fresh it looks, how glowy, how glowy, and I don't know. I just love how youthful your skin kind of looks with this um, combination here. Um, I just love how the light kind of hits my face, and it looks like like it's glowing, like you're glowing, and I love that. And that's what we're going for today. For concealer, I'll be using the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. I'm just applying this on the area where I need to highlight, which is the under eye area, on the bridge of my nose, on the chin area, and also on my forehead. And the sponge that I'm using right now is from iMagic. I don't know if you've heard me say this, but iMagic is like the best i mean eye magic sponges are like the best like really the best <laughs> to 
So for today's video, we are going to be cream contouring and I'll be using this, com these, <laughs> this combination here and everything I have on my face by the way guys will be listed in the description box so just in case you're wondering, please do check that out. And so yeah, I'm just applying this on the area where I need it. So I've gained kind of a lot of weight lately so we need to cheat that. So yeah, just applying it where I need it and then blending, blending it all in using a damp sponge. Now I'm going to set my under eye area and the rest of my face using the Cody Airspun. <laughs> That's my cat, I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just applying it on the under eye area and also on my chin and the sides of my face. I know you're probably thinking that, oh my god, Ren, you want a very glowing skin, but why are you patterning your face so much? I know what I'm doing. Trust me, you guys. Just trust the process. Everything will come together. And by the way, guys, I did my bronzer, my highlighter, and my blush off camera. So just in case you're interested of the products that I used, everything will be in the description box. So off camera, I applied some lashes and to highlight my inner corners or my tear dot area, I'll be using this Novo um, liquid um, eyeshadow in the shade 501. I really love this product so much. It just opens up my eyes in a very, I don't know, in a very dolly way. I love it so much. I enjoy using this so freaking much. <laughs> And now it's finally time to do the lips. I'll be using the Pinkies Collection Baby's Breath Lipstick and the Shiseido um, Pink Lipstick. I love the combination of these two. And then to finish up the lips, I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. And to really give me that dewy, um, wet um, look, I'll be using the MAC Fix Plus. And that's all it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next one. And now ladies and gentlemen, we are finally done.